Ho, ho, ho! Nearly Merry Christmas, my dear health seekers. Inga from Health Origins here. So I'm coming to you with part three of my edible Christmas gifts. And today we're going to be making peanut butter truffles. Yum! So let's begin. So there we go, we have the ingredients. It's only five ingredients we're gonna need. So first of all, our chickpeas. Um, this is a cup and a half, so about one can of chickpeas. Then I've got four tablespoons of maple syrup, some uh, pink salt, some smooth peanut butter, organic one I've got, and we've got two bars of 125 grams of dark chocolate put, you know, um, I've broken into pieces and we're gonna melt this. So that's it guys. So, and I've got my food processor, so all you need to do is just add your chickpeas, okay? Add your peanut butter. So we're gonna need um, either four very full tablespoons or you could say probably five then if you measured them exact. But I just like to put four, you know, overflowing tablespoons if you like. Um, in here, I wanna, wanna help it out with a spatula. And you can lick the spoon. <laughs> so, I'm gonna add the maple syrup. There we go. Liquid gold, and then I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So about, don't overdo it, but it's kind of, it's nice for a little bit of salt for these. And that is it for the dough. So all I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna blend it until it's smooth. You might need to uh, open it up and scrape the sides once or twice. So I'm just gonna do that. So all together I blended this for 1 minute 30 and that seems to be great because if you can see it's quite nice smooth and cohesive um, dough that we've got here. So I'm going to just scrape it out into a bowl so we can work with it. In fact, you don't even need to do that um, because you're going to be portioning it out. All you can do is just take the blade out and then just work from this um, to save you having to um, mess up another bowl. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the blades out and then we're going to form the truffles. So I find that a good amount of, um, of this dough is a tablespoon. So what I normally do, I just scoop about a tablespoon and then just kind of even it out with a teaspoon. Um, it's a little bit sticky and then I just put it out there like that and then we'll roll it. So I'm gonna prepare a few of these. And they're gonna roll them. So 
so now as I've portioned out all the dough um, I'm going to be rolling it into um, truffle balls so it's just literally and actually the dough is not really that sticky so yeah just forming nice round balls this is actually fun guys <laughs> I like this part feels like I'm a kid again playing with some dough or something So now we've got all the truffles rolled um, and I'm going to stick this into the freezer for about 15 minutes and in the meantime I'm going to put this on gas. So I've got some water, Bain Marie, underneath there and I'm going to melt my chocolate too. Voila! It's been 15 minutes so I've got the chocolate melted so for the chocolate use any dark chocolate you like mine is 65 percent dark chocolate um, obviously vegan no milk involved and most dark chocolate is going to be um, vegan anyway but just make sure to check it and then I've uh, taken this back out of the freezer so all I do and I get a teaspoon and a tablespoon and all I do is I drop the truffle in, roll it in the chocolate, take it on a smaller spoon and then I put it on a prepared parchment paper um, in some kind of container. Um, make sure you do have the parchment paper or baking paper on there because if you don't um, you'll make a mistake that I did where the chocolates basically stuck to the glass and I couldn't take them off with you know without breaking the chocolate so there you go and just carefully do that with all your truffles actually this um, this chocolate um, that I got this time is uh, much runnier so it's it coats it much nicer actually guys um, I normally use a little um, really cheap dark chocolate which is delicious it's about I think thick, 60 or 65 percent but it's like much thicker so it doesn't coat the um, chocolate that beautifully it, it you know it's um, it coats it thicker but not as as smooth as this one does so this is actually quite nice so I'll have very smooth um, and make sure you tr try and get the excess chocolate off the truffle before putting it on because you'll have less smears on the chocolate itself and if you can see some bits that are not fully covered make sure you cover it before it um, cools down and in fact um, it's really fun to do with kids as well because you can make the the, the dough um, and let them roll it into the balls and also this dipping is, is really fun for kids as well so you can get your little ones involved to help you make these truffles <laughs> So we've made the chocolates. Look at these beauties. How amazing. So I ended up with 31 chocolates and if you've got some leftover chocolate. So if your chocolate is more runny basically you could probably get away with one and a half or even one bar but really it's kind of better to have a little bit more quantity of the chocolate because it's just easier to um, 
immerse it in, in things so if you you know maybe one and a half bars and then whatever leftover chocolate you have you could just uh, make an amazing hot chocolate so add some plant milk and warm it warm it up and it'll be amazing so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna keep so you can either leave these in room temperature to harden up or if you want them to harden up quicker you can put them in the fridge or I've got a um, kind of a larder or a pantry if you like where it's um, utility, our utility room really so where it gets colder than in the main house so that's where I'm gonna put them until they completely harden up hey look what I found for you guys a bar humbug <laughs> for the taste testing of peanut butter truffles. I love my job. <laughs> there oh. you go. Mm -hmm. So here goes. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. <laughs> Guys, we've made them mm. quite a few times uh, this year. Mm. They're so delicious. Every time you bite into one, you just, you know, when you have that moment of just, mmm. That's what you get with these, you know. Pure bliss. It's, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. So, this is a perfect mm. gift. Perfect edible gift. You won't you want can... to give them away, though. <laughs> yeah, you can save some, right? <laughs> then you can package them in a little like um, pouch um, or uh, maybe a cardboard box if you want to be even more um, user friendly, uh, sorry, planet friendly, more sustainable so you could um, package them in a little cardboard box. Or oh, just eat them all and then you don't have to get any packaging at all. <laughs> totally eco friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mark is definitely down for that option. So yeah guys, let, let <laughs> Hang on a minute. Okay. Leave that for the movie night. It's me talk. <laughs> <laughs> we have to conserve these, all right, because they are so special. Yeah. Anyways, so if you try these and you must, <laughs> <laughs> let us know what you thought. Um, and you could probably do um, variations of this filling as well. So instead of adding peanut butter, you could probably do cashew butter um, and a little bit of vanilla essence or vanilla powder. I think that would be really nice too. Let me know if you try that other option out, okay? I think you should try that other option out. I me. will. <laughs> <laughs> I will. So yeah, so if you're new to the channel, um, subscribe for more videos part four of edible gifts it's coming tomorrow guys so um, what are you yeah. making for that so I'm making peanut butter jam cookies oh legend <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so see you then and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and see you next time bye guys <laughs>